Welcome to the best Dark Souls 2 guides anywhere found on YouTube. The best Dark Souls 2 instructor on the planet. I'm just kidding guys. Today we're at the Aldeas Keep. I'm gonna show you guys where the secrets are. I'll try my best to help you get all the little items that you missed on your first time around. What we're gonna do is get that big fatty over there. Come on big fatty fatty. Here you come. Look at that belly jiggle. We're gonna bait his attack. Make him break this wall for us. Thank you very much, big fatty. And let's see, what are we gonna do? Well, let him fall over like a big dumb fatty. Look how dumb he is. Okay, now that big dummy's out of our way, we got a chest back here. Let's see what we got for you guys. Are you excited? I am malformed shell. Ooh, it's got some pretty strong damage. A little bit too heavy for me, but some people will probably really like that. The next area, a little secret wall, is that room with all the little green slime everywhere. Uh, there's a hidden wall right there. Isn't that cool? We got a little bonfire too. Okay, on to the boss fight. We got the guardian dragon here. The safest place to launch attacks against him is directly beneath him because the only way he can hit you when you're directly beneath him is to do his little stomp attacks which are really easy to avoid. So if you stay directly beneath him it'll be pretty easy for you guys. Both ranged and melee oriented characters are encouraged to stay as close to the boss as possible and block or roll through its physical attacks rather than face its dangerous flaming fire breath. You should make every effort to cut his tail off because this will allow players to stand behind him without fear of getting hit. Archers and mages can attack the dragon while it's flying or perched on the cage wall. And melee characters will of course need to wait till you land unless you have a 50 foot long sword that can reach up there. In general, you want to move to the edges of the cage when the dragon breathes fire from the air and try to run under it as soon as you see it begin breathing fire while grounded. The dragon will be unable to counterattack players beneath it while it's breathing fire from a standing position. And this is a prime opportunity to land some blows in and kill him. The next spot we're going to, we're going to be fighting the ancient dragon. And I got some little tips and secrets for you guys that's going to make him pretty easy to beat. So you're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Remember, stay epic.